Back at 845, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and the rest of the Peanuts gang have made us laugh for more than 50 years. And now one artist has taken the beloved characters to a whole new place, including the Louvre. Today, national correspondent Jamie Gangel has that story. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. Art snobs, put away your Picassos and get ready for the Peanuts characters as you've never seen them before. Meet California painter Tom Everhart, who's taken the iconic Peanuts comic strip and transformed it into this. Pop culture has become pop art. Colorful, vibrant, unexpected. The paintings are so popular, they've been shown in exhibits around the world, even in Paris at the Louvre, and recently in New York City. But Everhart admits he never imagined his career would be linked to Snoopy and Friends. I think it was probably the last thing I expected. The last thing, because? I had no education in cartooning. Even as a child, I wasn't interested in cartoons. I was interested in coloring books. In 1980, he met Peanuts creator Charles Schultz, and the two became fast friends. We started doing nothing but drawing lines for hours. Thin lines, fat lines, wiggly lines, squiggly lines. Is he a good artist? He was phenomenal. Everhart became so adept at drawing the characters, he often did commercial projects for Schultz. And Schultz kept encouraging the artists to explore the comic strip in his own work. But the painter wasn't ready. You were scared? Well, yes. You were scared? Absolutely scared. Then in 1988, Everhart was diagnosed with stage four colon and liver cancer. And he had an epiphany. I realized, two years to live, what does it matter if the art world accepts what I'm doing? This is for me. Even so, he was intimidated. At first, he would only incorporate iconic symbols from the strip. The very first painting was Schroeder's toy piano. Then came Woodstock's nest. Then Lucy's hairdo. Maybe this is the start of something big. Then one day it happened. A character, Pigpen, finally slipped onto the canvas. What finally got you over that? Him. He pushed you. He kept pushing and pushing. He said, come on. What are you scared of? Yes, exactly. Hundreds of paintings later, the art still celebrates Peanuts, but as Charles Schultz demanded, Everhart has made the work his own. Mr. Schultz wanted me to create something in his language, but with my own thinking and things from my own life. So some are inspired by rap, OG Dog, of course, stands for Original Gangster Dog. And others inspired by artists like Monet and Edvard Munch. Good grief. And just as Schultz's writing and humor were critical, Everhart's titles add his unique twist. Does this make me look fat? If you look throughout the entire piece, probably four to 500 Woodstocks in black and white. Do you ever worry anymore about what people think? No, I don't. Um, I actually enjoy it. And while Charles Schultz died in 2000, Everhart says he's always looking over his shoulder. What do you think he would say if he was here? He would be smiling. I know when he came to our studio several times, he would say, these look like my children. I can't believe I didn't draw these. How much do you miss him? I miss him every day. And the price tag, not peanuts, guys. Some of these paintings go for $150,000. Oh. It is a real testament to Tom Everhart that Schultz gave him his blessing to use the characters. And if you hurry, you can still see the paintings for a couple more days down in Soho at the AFA Gallery in New York. But they are gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Jamie, well, you, you, mean, yeah. you just made one guy very, very happy. happy. Yeah. Well, Tell him what happened. We, we, a few years ago, there was an auction at our kids' school, and I got one for like five hundred dollars. And it's just up in the landing. <laughs> it's at the stairway. landing going up to the kids' room. Right, and the code on the alarm at Al's house. <laughs> is, uh... I think wow, that's good it's for a you. Wow. Museum glass on it. Man. Get the lighting just right. <laughs> what is it, what is in yours? It's 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 Snoopy, but it's kind of it's, uh, it very close up and and all kinds of uh, uh, geometric shapes. Wow, so cool. Wow. Hey guys.
That's why Al is this morning doing the Snoopy dance yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Jamie, thank you so much.